The Muslimin often ask us Christians the following silly question. Prove to us that Jesus is God. First of all, we don't need to prove anything to you Muslims. Jesus already did that for us. He claimed to be God and proved it by and through his words, miracles and actions many times over in the Holy Bible. Only and only if you care to read the Bible, you would have seen it. But let us be honest, ya Muslimun. Islam is a nation of illiteracy. You people don't read, else you would have seen it and found it also written in your man-made Quran. So let us go to chapter 22, ayah 73, and chapter 3, ayah 49 of the Quran, and prove from the Quran itself that even the Islamic Jesus, whom you Muslims call Isa, to be God besides Allah as well. Here is chapter 22 of the Quran, ayah 73. O humanity, a lesson is set forth, so listen to it. Those idols, those gods you invoke besides Allah can never create a fly. And in the bottom it says, how powerless are those who invoke and those invoked, meaning the idols or the gods. And in chapter 3, ayah 49, we can read, and a messenger to the children of Israel who will say to them, I've come to you with a sign from your Lord that is, I create, meaning Isa creates for you from clay something in the shape of a bird. Then I, Isa, blow in it and it becomes a living bird to the rest of the ayah. Since Allah in the first ayah in chapter 22, ayah 73, gave us the ultimate challenge that no God or no idol other than Allah can create a fly, yet we see this Isa creating a bird and give it life. So who is Isa exactly, ya Muslimun? Clearly he is God. He has the power of God. We are talking about creating life here, not some car or building. Both Allah and Isa created life. The Islamic Isa has all the power to create life. He is certainly not powerless. Amazing how Muhammad kept contradicting himself in his man-made Quran and shot himself right in the feet here when he fabricated all of these ayahs. My Muslim friends, how can Allah dare to claim divinity, yet he can contradict himself that easily like us humans? Sure, it doesn't sound like Allah being a real God to me, right? That's right. So stop asking us where Jesus is God. At least read both your Quran and our Holy Bible for once in your miserable lives. And when you read it carefully and understand what you read, then there is no option but to leave Islam and accept Jesus as your God and creator, the true living God of the Holy Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the Lord, judge and destroyer of your fraud fake prophet Muhammad and his man-made cult, which is Islam.